What is going on Wastelanders? It is me the Lone Vault Wanderer with another Fallout 4 video. So this video is going to be about a controversial topic ever since the Fallout 4 trailer dropped onto all of our laps. People have been complaining that the graphics for Fallout 4 just don't look that good. They don't look next gen. It's been a point of contention since day one and Bethesda's been relatively tight-lipped on it and I made a video on this in the past. In fact, the footage that you can see in the background is from a Fallout 3 to Fallout 4 graphics comparison. So I thought it was fitting to put that in the background as I'm talking about graphics again. But the reason why this point has been raised now is because in the past day, there's been an interview that Pete Hines conducted, which has been released in where he talks about the graphics of Fallout 4 and the fact that people don't necessarily like the graphics in Fallout 4. Now the article that I'm talking off of as always is linked in the description below but I want to be highlighting the main points. So the article states that a lot of people were upset that Fallout 4 looked more like Fallout 3 than say The Witcher 3. Bethesda's Pete Hines has a pretty zen attitude about the whole thing explaining to Metro that the negative reaction to the visuals quote definitely doesn't upset us as with most forms of entertainment you never get 100% agreement on anything and so at the end of the day whether it's what the graphics look like or whether the gameplay is what you want or whether you like the setting or whatever it is everybody is entitled to their own opinion the article continues that surprisingly some lunatics there were not mine uh, were actually upset about the game adding color Hines is not worried about swaying those very wrong folks or those who are unimpressed by the technology on display Quote, you can use whatever criteria you want to buy or not buy a game, because ultimately it's not up to me. I don't get to go up to each individual consumer and say, you have to buy this game or I'm going to try and convince you otherwise. So I've talked about Fallout 4's graphics in the past. I don't think they're that bad. I think people are really over exaggerating about the fact that Fallout 4's graphics don't look that good. But again, because these articles have been raised and because Pete Hines touched on the topic, I would like to talk about it because at the end of the day, it's about a discussion, it's about a debate, it's a two-way conversation. If you disagree with me and think that Fallout 4's graphics just aren't up to snuff and they're not as next-gen as they could be, then that's your opinion and you're entitled to hold it. And the entire reason why I am making this video right now is so we can have a bit more of a level-headed conversation where people are respectful and where people can actually share their views. And I'm going to do that on my side and in the comments below, you can reciprocate and do that for your arguments. So my arguments and looking at the footage on screen right now, now, which again is looking at Fallout 3 footage to the trailer of Fallout 4. I do not think that Fallout 4's graphics are bad and I actually think they look fairly decent. Now what we have to keep bearing in mind again is that the footage that we have seen so far, aside from the uncompressed Fallout 4 trailer which I did download and which I did use for this footage, but nevertheless you're still seeing a YouTube compressed version of gameplay. That is unfortunate. You saw that with the original Fallout 4 trailer and you're seeing it with this video right now even though I downloaded the uncompressed version. And that's because YouTube compresses videos a lot. So there is inevitably going to be that blurriness. So what people need to be careful of is not to confuse that blurriness with actual deficiencies in the game. Second of all, the footage that we've seen, a lot of anyways, has actually been streamed gameplay. So again, when streaming comes into it, a bit of blurring comes into it, the fidelity is just not going to be there. Then compared if you had a PC monitor right in front of you and you were looking at the game on ultra high settings, you know, there's a big difference there. So let's bear that in mind. Thirdly, I'm still not necessarily sure what gameplay we've actually been seeing with Fallout 4. My assumption is that it is either medium settings on PC or it's Xbox One. Now I know that guaranteed we have seen Xbox One footage. At E3 in Microsoft's conference, we saw footage of Fallout 4 which Todd Howard confirmed to be that on Xbox One. But that footage looked very, very, very similar to every other piece of footage that we've seen. So therefore, I think it's a safe assumption to assume 
that every piece of gameplay that we've seen has also been on Xbox One. Maybe the Fallout 4 trailer was on PC, but at least thereafter the gameplay, I want to assume, has been on Xbox One. And I think that's also a safe assumption to make in the sense that when Todd Howard said, this is Xbox One gameplay footage, and recently Bethesda released, you know, unedited and just straight gameplay of those exact segments that they use for E3, you saw those segments that were in the Microsoft conference, and then you also saw the segments that were in the Bethesda conference at E3, and they were part of the same video clip. So I want to assume that that's all from Xbox One. And if it is from Xbox One, then obviously there are going to be some graphics issues there, because Xbox One just does not compete with PC. If we were seeing PC footage on ultra high footage, I would think we'd be able to tell straight away. But Bethesda's always been of the kind that will not show these crazy high graphics, crazy CGI or, or whatever it is to give the wrong impression about their games. I think they like to treat it on a more level headed field and they've said that many times in different interviews. I believe Pete Hines has said that more often than not. So they don't want to mislead consumers, especially if not everyone has a high end PC by showing incredibly ultra high, high fidelity PC gameplay where not everyone is going to be having that experience. In fact, the majority of people aren't going to have that experience because either they have medium strength PCs or they're playing on PS4 or Xbox One, which are essentially, you know, mid-range PCs in and of themselves, maybe even less than that. But even putting all of those things to the side, I still don't think the graphics of Fallout 4 are bad. They are certainly, and I will be 100% honest and frank about this, they are certainly not equal to The Witcher 3. Witcher 3 set an incredibly high benchmark in terms of graphics and in terms of fidelity. And another comparison, Fallout 4 is not on par to games like Metro Last Light. Those are games that I've played and I've seen how good they look, and from what I've seen of Fallout 4, again, probably not PC high-end gameplay, but from what I've seen, it's not comparable to those games. But that doesn't mean that the graphics are bad. People have reacted so strongly in saying that Fallout 4's graphics are terrible, they're not next gen, but I would disagree with that. I would think that they are next gen. I've seen the lighting effects, I've seen the shadows, I've seen the graphical fidelity, and it's definitely improved from Fallout 3, and you can see that clearly in this video, and if you can't, then you must have a different opinion to me. But in my opinion, I can see that in the footage in this video on screen right now, I can see that from the other Fallout 4 gameplay, that things have improved vastly from Fallout 3. And I don't think Bethesda's bullshitting when they say they've completely redone their graphics engine. I think they're completely legitimate about that because I can see the improvements, I can see the drastic changes. And also as well, I've raised this point in the past where I think Witcher 3 was going for a more realistic visual look. I think Fallout 4 is intended to be a bit more stylized. In that video previously that I made, I, I used the metaphor of a scale where to one end of the scale, you had incredibly realistic looking games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, etc. Those, you know, realistic looking games that are meant to look like real life. And towards the other end of that scale, you have more stylized games like your Bioshocks, like your Borderlands, etc. Now, games can sit anywhere on that continuum in, the, in this example that I'm drawing. Witcher 3 is probably still on the bit more stylized, realistic, you know, the, a bit of an amalgamation of the two. But I think Fallout 4 is a little bit even further towards a stylized part of that scale. So I want to say that the reason why some people might be thinking that Fallout 4's graphics are bad, maybe they're saying that the graphics aren't realistic and it looks a bit too cartoony and colorful. You know, that colorful argument has been raised numerous times and I'm and I'm reading that as do you think it's like a cartoony look or a stylized look which I think that's exactly what Bethesda has gone for. They haven't gone for a super realistic look and Fallout has never been that. Fallout has never been that super realistic look whether you go from Fallout 1 and 2 to 3 or New Vegas. It's always been a bit of that you know a little bit stylized. I think Fallout 4 is a bit more stylized than Fallout 3 and New Vegas but nevertheless it's never tried to go for that super super realistic look and I'm not saying Witcher 3 has a super realistic look. I think Witcher 3 is a little stylized, but it still does have a heavy emphasis on looking like real life. You know, with the Nvidia hair works and all of those things there, and, and, and the great uh, fidelity in, in facial features, Witcher 3 definitely nailed it in that perspective. But I guess the point that I'm trying to make is that I don't think they're completely comparable games, but that's just my opinion on that. But anyways, that is me done talking for this video. Again, this is a two-way conversation. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. 
Do you think that Fallout 4's graphics are bad? Do you think that they're okay? Do you think that they're great? Do you like them? Do you dislike them? What games do you think Fallout 4 can be compared to a bit more legitimately? I would love for all of you to debate and disagree with me in the comments below. That's what this is about. Again, it's a two-way conversation. We're talking about a game that we love, and if we love a game, we should be able to share our criticisms of that game. Whether that's me not liking the UI, or whether that's people not liking the graphics, so long as they present their case, justify their arguments, then I'm completely fine with that. Anyway, Sway Sanders, that's all from me, and until next time, this has been the Lone Vault Wanderer. Please take care of yourself, and as always, keep fighting.